In the West Bank and Jerusalem, seven people, four Palestinians and three Israelis, have been killed amidst a wave of violence and protests over Israel's refusal to remove metal detectors from the Holy Al-Aqsa Mosque. On Friday, an Israeli settler killed 18-year-old Mohammed Sharaf, and Israeli soldiers killed 17-year-old Mohammed Khalaf and 20-year-old Mohammed Ghanem. On Saturday, an Israeli soldier killed 21-year-old Yusuf Abbas Kushur. About 400 more Palestinians were wounded as Israeli troops opened and fire against protesters with live bullets and tear gas. Meanwhile, Friday night, a Palestinian teenager killed a man and his two adult children in their home in an Israeli-only settlement in the West Bank. The three victims, whose names have not been released, were sitting down to Shabbos dinner when they were stabbed to death Friday night. This is Abed al-Jalil al-Abad, the father of the Palestinian teenager who killed the three Israelis. I have no idea about what happened, and I'm against any attack. Our children are young, and the occupation is responsible for the attack, not my son. The occupation caused this attack after pressing on Al-Aqsa Mosque. On Sunday, the violence appeared to spread to the Israeli embassy in Jordan, where an Israeli security officer killed two Jordanians after one stabbed him. Israel has deployed more troops to the occupied West Bank amidst the growing protests. The U.N. Security Council is set to convene an emergency meeting over the violence.